we we'll close for those. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now live from the Capital 7 Studios here in Dixon, we present the Doug Anthony All-Stars. Hey! One, two, the Jesus loves me. Lordy, 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 Lordy. When Jonah walked down into that well, bum, 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 bum. Lordy, 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 into that well. He thought that uh, he was walking down into hell. Bum, 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 bum. Lordy, 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 down into hell. Well, he at its liver and its pumping heart and said, oh. I hope to God that this well doesn't fart. Bum, 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 Lordy, 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 Jesus. Then Jesus came driving out of the sky. Don't ask me why he was driving so high. He said, you take the low road, I'll take the high. We'll be riding in the Cadillac of Jesus. Bum, 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 Lordy, 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 Lordy. When the Lord Gave those ten commandments to Moses. Bum, 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 bum. Lordy, 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 gave them to Moses. Moses said, God, hold your horses. Bum, 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 bum. Lordy, 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 hold your horses. He said, I like number one, I dig number three, but you're taking all the fun out of adultery. Bum, 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 bum. Lordy, 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 Jesus. Then Jesus came driving out of the sky. Don't ask me why he was driving so high. And he said, you take the low road, I'll take the high. We'll be riding in the Cadillac of Jesus. Well, Jesus drives a big pink Cadillac. Angel feather seats, chandeliers in the back. He's got a telephone to God and a portable TV and the biggest cocktail bar that you ever did see so put your clothes back on and come driving with me it's a Cadillac of Love on the road to glory. Amen. Well done, guys. I just plugged myself up in here. I'm, I'm right. How are you, fellas? Good run, good. You're okay. looking, uh, you're looking terrific. Yeah. Well, so are you, you're looking. Where well. am I? Where are we? We're up there. No, we're over. We're here. over here. We're over here. We're over there. Are we all on camera? We are. Because I'll introduce you first. I think that'll be a good way to sort of get the whole thing going. You're Tim, the tall, dark one. You're Paul, and that, folks, is Richard. How are you? Look, that was your first television appearance, I understand. Sure was. Yeah. Yes. How, how did it feel? I felt all right. Mm. How did it feel? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Great. nice. Nice. Felt nice. Would you, really like, nice. would you like to do it again? Was it good for you too? Oh, well, I guess it probably was. Oh. They look uh, sweaty. Yeah, yeah, it's a great atmosphere here, actually. Mm. Lots of things happening. It's really wild here at Capital Center. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Who are the Doug Anthony All-Stars? Let's, let's sort of start with that and tell us who you are Ooh. exactly. I mean, we've introduced you by name, but where do you sort of get the Doug Anthony All-Star name from and things like that? Who's going to? Who's the <laughs> spokesman for um, that? Let's let's start with Tim. We'll work it. We'll, we'll ask questions down this um, way. Paul is actually Doug Anthony's son, and um, so that's where it all came from. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I can see the resemblance actually. You yeah. can actually. Yeah. Um, as soon as he does his hair over to the side, it yeah, looks it much better. Down, looks much right. better. Yeah. Actually, my, my wife is uh, related to the Anthony's, and uh, she'd probably know you, Paul. Yeah, she does. Uh, uh, Helen. Yeah. Helen. No, Anne. 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 Oh, you remember? Oh, we have a Anne. Anne. Helen. Yeah. yeah, very good friend of mine. Yeah. So that's where the Doug Anthony All Stars started from. They just you were the, the son, and you took your name from it. You're the yeah, All Stars. That's correct. They're yeah. the All Stars. I just tagged along. Yeah. Right. Let's get to a serious note here. A season at Adelaide. You were at the Fringe Festival of uh, Cabaret down there. Was that a, was that a big thing for you guys? Um, medium to big. Yes. Medium to big. Yes. Medium Large. Anything like that before. Large. Was that sort of the biggest thing that you've done? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Was. So yes. far. It, it was a whole big festival of cabaret people from all around the, the country right. and actually from overseas as well, all big cabaret acts. Mm. Would, you, would you class yourself mainly as a cabaret band? Mm. Mm. I don't think band, the word band comes into it at all. Thanks very Just much. Just a cabaret act group. 
Group, yeah. Group. group. I don't think we're as pretentious as to say band. Band, yes, you know what I mean? That song, no. by the way, the song that you, you just performed there, was that one of your own sort of composition? Mm, that's an original. Yeah. Original? Yeah. Inspired for the Lord. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. brother. I was just going to say, you seem to have some sort of uh, Christian connection there. Mm. Hey, everyone has. Mm. Everyone has a, a, <laughs> a great Christian, Christian connection. I, I was, I was, that's interesting because there's a new magazine out at the moment called Spin, which is released in the States, and there is a, um, a big thing happening in the US at the moment where heavy metal is turning to Christian. Oh, heavy metal's always sort of been associated with Satanism and things like that. Mm. Well, the big thing there now is, seems to be an influence towards heavy metal <coughs> bands heading toward um, Christianity and sort of promoting that, that angle of things. Yeah, but that's just another ploy by the devil to try and get people to listen to it. I think oh, so. I see. Yeah, it really is. It is. It so is. All this, this artificial Christian music that's coming out from heavy metal bands in America right. is just trash. And, uh, really. and you're, you're the real thing? <laughs> well, we hope so, yeah. No, well, coach well, the real I myself thing. I'm a Hindu. I'm with yeah, the Mahasamadhi okay. Fatras. Right. Yeah. So you really, that doesn't mean anything? It, oh, no, not really. Not really. I'd rather be wearing my orange worry beads, but... You've got this nothing is, to worry about. This is television, moment. isn't it? No, yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Future aspirations for the guys. Which guys? You guys. Oh, right. Um, um, well, you're the only ones here. Well, there's a whole room of people yeah, that'd like to join in. To you. Sorry. Um, aspirations. Yeah. What, what do you sort of hope to... Are you looking for recording type things? Or oh, not at all, no. We just, we just want to... Las Vegas? We just Las want Vegas. to busk, really. Las Vegas? Yeah. That's Richard wants to go to Las Vegas and busk. I want to go to Las Vegas. You've done a bit of busking around Canberra. I mean, you're, you're quite well-known mm. faces in that, that sort of a scene. Is that a lucrative business? You see the guys standing out there and... Oh, doing yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. For the benefit of the taxation people. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The Canberrans are very generous, and most Canberrans as I'm sure you all know, are bored and rich and but have nothing better. <coughs> so just, just one thing. Give you the money. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you could give a lot more, though. Yes. Really, you haven't really begun to give at all in those mornings and Saturday mornings. You, yes. you so could really give a lot more. If do you, you have to. a particular area that you hang out in? Hang out. Hang out. Busk. Oh, Bars. Right. Um, Centre Point. Centre, Centre point. point. Outside Centre Point in Civic. Yeah. Right. Mm. Recording isn't a, isn't a big thing in your life? Next year it probably will be. Richard and Paul have courses to finish at art school and ANU and things. Right. And then we'll probably make some recordings, go to Europe, America and see what happens. Fingers crossed. America should be the best one. And mm. Japan, mm -hmm. apparently. Yeah. Japan no, that's a good. definite thing for you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Japan looks good. With contacts there? Have you made contacts there? Well, no, there's there that... people in Melbourne that run a couple of comedy, a comedy cafe down there and they've, they've actually arranged some, yeah. some trips to Japan and to, uh, to America, which will be quite mm. good. They could be the start of some big things for you guys. Well, it's, let's hope so. Oh, yeah. well, we How long have you been together as a band? Is it, is it a, a group? Sorry, a group. group. That's okay, right? Okay. Ensemble. <coughs> Ensemble. Um, well, we've been together about three years, but with Paul here. Paul's only um, been with us about time. Eight months now, Paul, isn't it? Mm, it's only yeah. a short period of time. And what was it before that? Before the dugout? Bad, really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we had another member, Robert, who's now roughing it at Paris. Right. And he's going to a drama school there. Is that a member that may join you in the future again? or Probably not. Rob's going for a European career. He probably may not come back to the country. Off on a different tangent altogether. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. A visual or sound act or both on stage? I mean, the people that haven't caught you around Canberra maybe are now inspired to go and see the, the boys on stage. Um, is it a visual thing or a sound thing? I mean, we've got a taste of it tonight, but do you perform more on stage or do you rely more on your music? Well, none of us can sing, so it had better be visual. <laughs> it better be visual. You just mime. Well, yes, yes. It's lip sync and the voices appear from, from nowhere. They come from, down from heaven. That's right. Yeah. But it's a very visual show. Um, there's lots of choreography, lots of movement, lots of um, strange objects flying around and things. Mm. And we try okay. to make it as visual as possible. We try to celebrate God and through that celebrate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be hanging around for a little bit longer, on? Yeah, we'll be. Sure. Yeah, sure. We'll Will be you sure. be performing That'll again be great. for us, do you think? No, well, probably not. <laughs> oh. no. Well, only if you out, guys out there want us to um, give us a ring. And tell, tell, actually, tell us what you thought of um, of the boys, and uh, if you like them, maybe we can get them back again. Let's. Uh, thanks Probably for talking to us. Right. We might talk to you a little bit later on. Let's